Hello everybody, welcome to my studio and spending some time with me again. My daughter recently got engaged and I decided to make her a smash book where she could collect all the paraphernalia for her wedding planning. A smash book is defined as instead of buying a scrapbook album and page protectors, it's a journal in which you can write, draw, paint and glue all your embellishments and use everything that you've got. There's no planning involved. You simply decorate as you feel in the moment. I found an old A file file that was too big for what I wanted, so I cut it down. I got a little bit enthusiastic and actually tore the front cover off before I thought of my plan very quickly. So I used some good old fashioned duct tape, stuck the file cover back on and then um, put it all together. I laid it out flat on some black cardstock, measured carefully with about a three centimeter edge all the way around and cut it. Trim your corners carefully, score the edges and fold over. Measure your front covers, back covers, score them, glue them and place them carefully so that you've got a nice inside cover. Gently pull the file together so that you, it stretches and you can feel that it's got some give. This is where the fun starts. It's time to decorate the front and inside covers. I've used ribbon, embellishments, all the little bits and pieces that have been collecting that came with this pack. Now's the time to use all these things. I created dividers by making pockets, an index page, I decorated each one individually as we went along. This is a journal pocket, all I used to fold it was the paper in half and added a strip of paper that I'd cut with circular scissors or those scallopy scissors should I say. These all dividers, they're anything, they're 15 centimeters wide and anything from 10 to 12 centimeters, 14 centimeters high. Cut little tabs into them. This was a whole bunch of journal paper that I collected together, used my sewing machine. I had some cardstock on the back of it and I stitched it all together just to give it some extra stability. I then punched holes in it and added as, as section two. And I continued making pocket dividers, pockets with extra little bits of papers and for tags, for notes and a place for her to tuck all her little receipts and cards. This pocket is 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters, folded in half with the bottom edge stuck together and that creates a pocket. Carry on decorating each divider as you make it. Put as many pockets as you want. This, you just, there's no rules. You just do as you feel like doing and carry on in this until you've completed the album and you feel that you've done what you want to do. I wanted to finish the album off by adding a little tag and I just collected out of my bead collection some pins and beads and chains and a little um, hook, create a little 
tassel with some pins and old flour, just whatever you've got, or tassel that you might have taken off something else. And um, in this way, I finished off the outside edge by punching a hole and threading the little toggle through that. I finished the inside with um, ribbon and lace. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this and um, we'll create a little memory book or mini file um, and enjoy. Thank you for spending some time with me. I really enjoyed making this journal for you. I hope you've purchased the new, the latest essay craft and home magazine. It's on the back of the essay artists. A really, really fabulous magazine filled with wonderful ideas for artists. And I'm very excited about what's being done for the crafting community. Please follow, like, share this. I am, you can find me at Vilna by Design and at Vilna Crema. I'm on Instagram, on Facebook, and I'm on YouTube as Vilna Crema. Hope to see you soon. And until next time, we meet in my studio again. Have a wonderful time and continue being creative. Take care.